Yo, what is up guys? My name is Rhino and I'm back for another Fortnite video. So in case you guys weren't aware, and if you saw the previous video where I was talking about scammers and exposed this particular scammer hacking my friend who stole my friend's account, as of now, he's returned it, so you don't need to worry about it. But I've kept the video up as a warning for scammers. So if you want to check out the video, by all means, check it out. I'll leave a link in the description. But for now, let's go back to Fortnite. And I wanted to go back to my list format because... I've got a couple of lists in mind, and I wanted to release one of them here, because that's what I like to do. So, for this list, I'm going to be counting down the top 10 most overrated skins in Fortnite. So, this is a combination of my personal opinion, as well as the community's opinions on how many people actually like the skin, but what I think of them personally, as well as what a lot of other people think of them. So... If your favorite skin lands here, don't be mad. Not all of these skins are bad. In fact, some of them are actually pretty good. It's just some are a bit too good. So this list may include some skins that are overrated skins may come about because a skin is either rare and it's just, and that's the only reason some people like them or one of the reasons at least, like with Ghoul Trooper, because let's admit, once Ghoul Trooper came back, once everyone had a, People didn't really like her as much. Only the genuine Ghoul Trooper fans or the ones who had Ghoul Trooper before really like her. And don't get me wrong, I still like Ghoul Trooper, but it's no doubt that she is a tad overrated. But she will not be on this list because of that, because people are understanding that she's not as good as people thought. And then the genuine Ghoul Trooper fans still like her. But this list will consist of more of those as well as some skins that just get too much love in my opinion. So a little bit of bias in there, partly my opinion. And as well as that, some sweaty skins as well that just don't look good. All right, so Lance again, if your ferret skin goes here, don't get triggered. It's not the end of the world. And before we start, don't forget to use my career code RhinoGamingYT. It's for capital R, capital G, capital YT. Don't forget that. Make sure you're using me, or if you're not using me, use somebody, and I'll recommend someone smaller because it helps us out a lot. It drives us to making this content for you guys. Thank you so much. All right, beginning with the list. At the number 10 spot, we have... This was hard because there are a lot of skins that I think are overrated, but in order to do this, I had to think outside the box. Think what skins people love or even what skins that I love, but then think... Is it a bit overloved or hence overrated? So at the number 10 spot, I had to give it to Dark Bomber. Now, before you click off this video, click the dislike button. Dark Bomber is a great skin. She's still one of my favorite girl skins of all time. Yes. So why is she on this list? Well, simply because a lot of people tend to steer away from her just because, well, firstly, because of Faye Sway, who tends to use the skin and other people who are seen using her with no back bling tend to think that they're face sway wannabes now yes i still use the skin here and there i'm not a face sway fan and i know he's very good at the game i know there's a lot of memes about him but i still love the skin but i'd also think that it's no longer the best dark series skin i would say dark red knight and dark wild card are better so that's the only reason she comes in this list just making the number 10 spot all right coming at the number nine spot we have probably the most overrated battle pass skin in my opinion we have omega so this is a skin where either you love it or you hate it. So some people say it's the best tier 100 skin. Others say it's the worst. In my opinion, maybe I wouldn't go as far to say that it's the worst, but it's nowhere near the best. At the time, yeah, maybe. Or people are still considering Black Knight or John Wick. But then after a little bit, people are starting to really like it. But now I just don't care for it. It's a robot villain it's just, I don't really care for using robot skins. I don't like wearing a backling on him. Um, I think he's kind of boring. Because even though the edit styles were really cool at the time, I just, I don't know, I just, not for me anymore. And I think we've had so many other better skins with edit styles, both in the Battle Pass and in the item shop. This one is just, basically feels like a blank canvas when it comes to that concept. Yes, you can change the colors. No, I did not get the colors for this, so maybe I'm a little jealous or biased. But still, even if I did, I probably would never use him, just because I'm just not a huge fan of him. Nor do I think he's aged very well either. I'm sorry. All right, moving on to number eight spot, we have Poise Playmaker. And okay, again, this is just my opinion, this does not mean the skin's bad. Poise Playmaker is a really good skin, but is she the best soccer skin? No. 
I would say that goes to Clinical Crosser. And even Finesse Finisher, I would say, is better and underrated, which, if you guys like this video, I will do a top 10 underrated skins video next. That might make you feel a bit better. But Poise Playmaker, yes, she is the sweatiest soccer skin, but I just feel like that's the reason why people use her over the others. Clinical Crosser, I think, is more clean. She's got a more suitable design on her jersey. While Poise Playmaker does look better in some jerseys, I just think that in others, it looks... It's just not for my eyes. The stripes going across the shoulders and the hips on some colours just don't look good in my opinion. And again, any of the soccer skins are great. Get whatever soccer skin you want. But I just think personally that Clinical Crosser is the best one and not Poise Playmaker. That's the only reason she's on this list. All right, moving on to the number seven spot, we have Iris. Okay, so I wanted to include a starter pack skin here, but at the same time, I felt that a lot of starter pack skins have been underrated, underappreciated. Some that I think are better than Iris. And while Iris is not the worst starter pack skin, do I think she's the best? No. The color scheme, it's just not for me. The design is a little bit all over the place and the hair is just, I don't like it. I like her with the hood up, but the worst part about her is probably her shorts. This, how much shorter do they need to be? Come on. And I don't like the color of them. So Iris, yeah, I like it how a starter pack skin is getting a bit more love, not seen as much of a bot skin but it's seen as a more sweaty skin. And, and that's why I put her here, because I see her used a lot. And I think there are other starter pack skins, such as Laguna, even Rogue Agent, that I think are better. But still, Iris, not a bad skin, but just a tad overrated. All right, moving on to number six, but we're getting to some very overrated skins here, and even some skins that I don't really like. So maybe as we get up the list, I start to like these skins less and less. But in number six spot, we have Manic. So this skin, I, yeah, I could sort of see it becoming a sweaty skin when I first when it first came out. But now that it is, I still don't fully understand why I thought that and why I was correct. It's a, yeah, it's very simple. It suits the style of what sweats like to use. It's just lazy. It's literally a reskin of Redline where the mask, yes, looks cool. I still prefer Redline just because I like how she's more clean for a racer and... Even Redline, I don't really use that much. Or Manic, I think her helmet is actually a little bit better. I, I would give her that. But still, it's just a very lazy skin. It's just a very lazy skin. And too lazy to be a sweat skin, meaning a lot of people use it. And it's the same case with skins like Riley. While not overrated, which is why she didn't make this list, a lot of people don't like her. And I feel like the people who do like her genuinely like her. But Riley's just another one of those very, very lazy skins but at the same time simple skins that appeal to some people and if they keep doing this then this is going to encourage epic to make more and more of these lazy skins and i'm not really and that's not what i want and i hope it doesn't keep continuing in the future but manic not the worst skin but nowhere near the best just lazy all right moving on to the number five spot of course in this list i have to include an exclusive skin because yes, some are overrated. A lot of them are overrated just because people wish they had them or afford them or got lucky because they used their mum's phone to get it. But at the number five spot for the most overrated one, I had to give it to Wonder. And yes, I can understand if you like this skin. I really can. I do appreciate when I do see a Wonder because I know that not many people have it because who would want to buy the Honor phone as a phone? You would more specifically buy it for the skin, let's be honest. And I, while I do think she's a tad better than Honor Guard, I just don't see Honor Guards that much. So Honor Guard, I don't think is overrated. Wonder, on the other hand, is. I just, I just think the colors are too bright, too fluorescent for my style, and I'm not a fan of the bob cut, let me talk to your manager haircut. I know it's an unpopular opinion, but I'm just not. And the green hair just doesn't really go well with the purple, in my opinion. The very bright purple. It's a skin that a lot of sweats don't really like using bright skins that stand out. And I feel like this is one of those skins that is a bit of a sweat skin, but it stands out. So it kind of defies that in a way. So I don't understand why some people really like the skin. If it weren't exclusive, I don't think as many people would. And I've known people who have gotten scammed just from trying to get this skin. Not worth it. That's your own fault there. Even though I said it before, talking about scammers. If your account got scammed because you want this skin and you gave away your details, then I don't know what to say to you. Moving on to the number four spot, we have Skull Ranger. And I must say that 
From the start, I was never really crazy about Skull Trooper. Yes, there was that small wild hair that I had that how he was rare before he came back in 2018 that made me like him a little bit more. But when he came back, I didn't really like him as much anymore. He, I didn't like him as much as I did before and I wasn't even a huge fan of him. So I really didn't like him, didn't care for the purple style. I don't like the purple style on him. But then they come out with a female version who is even worse than Skull Trooper. Because at least Skull Trooper with that skeleton design on the male body looks more intimidating. Even though Skull Ranger does look scary, just in a bad way. Skull Trooper, he looks more, more evil in the male's body. And, and just looks, he actually looks all right in the green. While Skull Ranger, with the hair sticking out and that skeleton on the smaller body, just looks gross all over the place. And yeah, as you can tell, I don't like the skin at all. Never have, never will. And so while the default style, maybe you could argue is a little bit better than the default style Skull Trooper, it's the green, however, that's just, imagine having vomit and then you have that vomit glowing. That's what it's like. And some, a lot of people somehow seem to like the skin more than Skull Trooper. And while I'm not a fan of either skins, I do think at least Skull Trooper matches the theme better and his inversion color style is definitely the best style. And I kind of wish that Skull Ranger got it. Or do I? Would if she have looked even worse with that style because of the smaller, more slim body with the skeleton? I don't know. But Skull Ranger definitely embodies an overrated skin to me. All right, moving on to number three spot, we have another controversial pick, Renegade Raider. So yeah, Renegade Raider, she's a fine skin. I don't have any problems with her aesthetically. It's just, come on, you gotta admit, part of the reason you like her is just because she's rare. She's a season one skin. We've already seen this with Ghoul Trooper. People say, oh, I can't wait for Ghoul Trooper to come out. And then when she comes back, you're excited. And then after a week after buying her, you just don't really care anymore. For most part. It's just the exact same thing with Renegade Raider. Don't let your mind fool you. I understand there are a few people who genuinely like the skin, but I like the helmet, the makeup, and the brown going well with the scavenger theme, but is it really one of the best skins? Hell no. There are just so many skins out there, 700 skins that have come out, a lot of which are just better than Renegade Raider, more unique. Renegade Raider, just people like her more for the nostalgia than the aesthetics, I believe. So, please, don't lie to yourself. All right, moving on to the number two spot, we have Dynamo. This skin is just, oh man, what a trip this skin's been through. It started off, no one really cared about her, or the male version. Mongrel started using her, and then everyone started using her because he's a sweaty player, and everyone else using her as a sweaty player. It became the biggest sweat skin, and still is a sweat skin to this day. People still love it. They don't... Even some people who do love this get admitted that they don't love it for the aesthetics. They love it because it's sweaty. And that's exactly, that's exactly what embodies overrated. If it weren't sweaty, it would be a horrible skin. It being a sweat skin does not hide the fact that Dynamo is a horrible skin. The colors just all over the place. She looks ugly. The mask just doesn't do it. I don't like the theme. I'm not a fan of Lucha Libre wrestling. And I bet that most people who do love her or do love using her as a sweat skin have no idea what Lucha Libre Wrestling is or don't even like it themselves. I've hated it from the start, so why is it that just because someone else starts using it and starts playing sweaty with it, that all of a sudden it becomes a good skin? That's just not the case. And if you hate Masked Fury and love Dynamo, then it means you do hate Dynamo because Masked Fury, while a little bit worse than Dynamo, he's not overrated. In fact, he's probably either just as bad as Dynamo, or he's probably underrated because Dynamo gets so much love, yet Mars Fury does not. But Mars Fury doesn't really deserve love. But then again, nor does Dynamo. Not to mention the fact that Mars Fury, the male version, and Dynamo are both part of the same set. So they both have the same weird theme, and I apologize if you are a fan of Lucha Libre Wrestling, and they have that same hideous color scheme. So if you hate Mars Fury, and, but love Dynamo, it just doesn't make sense considering how similar they both are. Either you hate both skins or you love both skins. And exactly why she's the second most overrated skin in the game. But for the number one spot, the most overrated skin in Fortnite, in my opinion, Recon Expert. And 
admit it, you only like the skin because it's the rarest skin in the game. Other than that, it's just another plain default-like character from Season 1. If it was just another one of those skins that came back, like Commando or Recon Specialist, who I would argue is better, you wouldn't care about it. It's, the bucket hat, yes, does look kind of cute on her, I will admit that. The colour scheme's fine on the clothes. I just don't like the way it mixes with the dark. I don't like the theme of it. It The star symbol just looks bad on her, and she just looks ugly. She's not a good skin, she's a bad skin, and the fact that she's rare should not save that. The exact reason why this skin is the rarest skin in the game is because so little people bought it. When it was available during Season 1, no one liked it, so no one bought it. So why is it all of a sudden when it becomes rare, you like it now, or unless you weren't playing during Season 1? If she does come back, which I do think she will one day, how many people are going to care if so many people buy it? The people who don't like her and are not brainwashed will not buy her. The people who do like her will buy her, and then there'll be no point because it became from being the rarest skin in the game to the most used skin in the game for like the first two days. So who cares after that? All right, that's enough ranting. That's the end of the list. Sorry about that, guys. Sorry if I triggered you. If I did trigger you, let me know in the comments what you think. If you want to say that Dynamo is the best skin in the game or Skull Ranger is better than Skull Trooper or Face Sway's cool, let me know. I like seeing your opinions. I like argue. I'm not going to argue with you guys, but I like seeing your agreements or disagreements in the comments. So let me know. Give this video a like if you liked it, a dislike if you didn't like it. But anyway, guys, again, if you enjoyed that, stay tuned for my most underrated skins video, if that will make you feel a bit better, and have a good day. Bye-bye.